Luan is a manufacturer of point to multipoint millimeter wave radio equipment uh, specifically designed for the backhaul of small cell networks. It's quite simple. Uh, last year's agenda at Mobile World Congress was very clearly focused on the global austerity that we're facing uh, in the world economy, uh, compounded with the uh, massive increase in mobile data traffic demand that we're seeing with the advent of new technologies such as 4G, smart devices, tablets, etc. As a result of that, uh, RAN equipment manufacturers are trying to meet this demand with cost-effective network topologies, uh, mainly called small cells. Uh, one of the biggest impediments for the rollout of small cells is around backhaul. Uh, there's a huge capex and opex investment required to execute on the vision of small cell network topologies that still hasn't been addressed. Well, a large part of the impediments is uh, the options that operators have to backhaul these small cell networks. If you think about it, right now, they're looking at fiber. Uh, fiber uh, has heavy infrastructure costs, uh, very high capex investments required. On top of it, you have to negotiate way leaves uh, to uh, provide the backhaul to new cell sites. For existing cell sites, operators need to actually rent wholesale fiber, which is a huge operational cost for uh, non-incumbent operators. So that is one problem. Second option is point-to-point -point microwave. Point-to-point -point microwave uh, has been sufficient up until now, but with the increased density that we're seeing in small cell network topologies, one of the key factors on the OPEX side is site rental costs as well as spectrum licensing costs. Furthermore, the amount of spectrum that's actually available to backhaul in point-to-point -point microwave is shrinking day by day. And then the, the channels are getting narrower, so there's not enough capacity in the network to actually provide backhaul to these small cells. Well, this week at Mobile World Congress, we're launching a backhaul solution specifically targeted for the deployment of small cells in dense urban areas. We call this technology fiber through the air, for it's a multi-point millimeter wave. And it operates in the 42 gigahertz spectrum. And uh, the particular nature of the spectrum allows us to generate a lot of capacity from a single dish to light up multiple cell sites with uh, future-proof capacity for the next five years to come. So how does it work? It's very simple. This is our point to multi-point millimeter wave sector radio. It's a very compact unit about this size. And what we do is we install it on top of a fiber point of presence. This is where the backbone fiber is located. And we install this at the top of the building. That creates a 90 degree sector coverage area. And in that coverage area, we generate two gigabits per second of sector throughput. That's about 20 times more than existing point to multi-point solutions available on the market today. Within that area of coverage, we have multiple cell sites. On each cell site, we install a small radio unit that delivers 100 megabits per second on that site. What that effectively means is we can actually deliver 20 cell sites with 100 megabits per second sector throughput, throughput on each cell site from a single radio unit. The impact of that is dramatic because what that means is your backhaul infrastructure grows in tandem with your small cell network deployment plans. Without any specific constraints around site rental costs, because you have one radio powering those 20 cell sites, and on top of it, the spectrum properties and the licensing fees associated to the 42 gigahertz spectrum that we use are very cost effective. So you don't have to worry about these link by link costs that point to point vendors typically face. The savings are quite considerable. Uh, we run some calculations uh, over a five year period for the total cost of ownership of backhauling small cells, analyzing the different options between fiber and point to point microwave. And uh, one of the things that we found is that if you consider equipment costs, site rental costs, spectrum costs, installation and maintenance, as well as the rental of wholesale fiber, and analyze this data, what we found is that fiber is three times, uh, costs three times as much to deploy for backhaul as a point-to-multi-point millimeter wave solution. Uh, in parallel, point-to-point -point microwave 
uh, is twice as expensive as deploying a point to multi point millimeter wave solution. So, with overall savings of up to 200%, operators really can't afford to ignore uh, all of the variables in the cost of ownership model required to deploy in small cells. So, they really need to be looking at not just the CapEx part of the equation, but also the OpEx part of the equation, namely site rental and licensing fees.